guys, what is up? The Android Man here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the new beta for Minecraft Bedrock Edition that was released today. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. If you do, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe with notifications on if you haven't already. It would mean a lot to me if you guys could do that. But let's go ahead and get into looking at the new things within this beta. So as as you guys can see right down here I have a phantom spawn egg and if you guys are wondering what is the phantom well basically during the last minecon there was a vote as to what new mob should be added and it was decided that the phantom should be added so now we finally have that and we also have this little thing here which we've been waiting ages for and it is the barrier block so these are the only two new items or features that were added so that's basically that. So I'm going to show you guys what they do and all that stuff. Before we get into that, as you guys can see on the screen right now, it tells us the new features. And it says, phantom mobs will spawn in the night skies if a player hasn't slept in over three in-game days. And it also says that barrier blocks have been added. And it will be a great feature for map makers to limit players to certain areas of the world and they can be placed in creative mode but in survival and adventure mode they will be invisible and you can only obtain them by using a command and they do not appear in the creative inventory and then right here you can see there have been two changes and that is that the menu and inventory tabs can now be navigated using the like square brackets on your keyboard that's obviously if you are using windows 10 and then it also says pages can now be turned in the booking quill using controller bumper buttons so that'll be for if you're using a controller or if you're on the xbox version and then as you guys can see there's a screenshot right here showing the bug fixes that they have made i'm not going to read over those because there's quite a lot of them but that is the new features and changes so now let's get into looking at them all and just seeing what they can do you guys probably are wondering kerry how do i get hold of a barrier block i have to use a command but i don't know the command so all you need to do is go over to your little chat center and then um, do slash and then give just like so and then do the at sign and then s which means at yourself which means you are going to get it and you can also type your name there if you want to, but at S is a lot more easier. And then just simply go ahead and type the word Barry. And as you can see, it will start to come up while you're typing it as you can see right there. And then go ahead and type the number that you won. I'm just simply going to go ahead and type one because I already have some. And there you can go. You can see it will give you a barrier block and these in creative are unlimited so you're not going to run out and as you can see they look just like you guys would imagine it means that you can't walk past them i mean obviously you can jump over them but you can't like walk through them so let me go ahead and make a wall using these barrier blocks and as you can see I cannot walk through this. I cannot walk through this even if I tried my hardest. It is impossible. You cannot get past a barrier block. And as you can see, because I'm in creative, I can actually see where the barrier blocks are. But if I was in survival or adventure mode, I would not be able to see these. So it would be completely invisible, which I should probably just go ahead and show you guys. So let's go ahead and go into game mode S. So there we go. We're now in game mode survival and you cannot see them, but they are right here. I cannot walk past them. No matter what I do, I cannot get past these barrier blocks. So it's really quite cool. And obviously when you are in survival, you can still place them. You just can't see them. They are completely invisible, which like I've already said, would be amazing for adventure map creators or just general map creators. If they want to block off a certain area, it's going to be so, so good. So that is amazing. So the next thing is the phantom and you guys, this is what it looks like. They will burn during the day, which is kind of bad so if we go ahead and turn it over to night time this little guy should stop burning as you guys can see this is what they look like and they will actually spawn at pretty high altitudes they won't normally spawn this low and they will only spawn by themselves if you have been awake and haven't slept for more than three nights in minecraft so that'll be i think that's 13 minutes 30 minutes it should be because the day and night cycle is 10 minutes so if you haven't slept for 30 minutes IRL then that means that these are going to start spawning which is three nights in Minecraft so if you pass through three nights without sleeping then 
you are basically going to get attacked by these guys if you are, of course, in survival. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself a little weapon right here. Which one shall we take? We'll just obviously take the diamond. There we go. We are probably maybe going to die. I don't actually know how strong these are. But we should... Oh, wait. What is that doing? It's like in the ground. Is it stuck or is that a feature that they do? That I like stick their heads in the ground? <laughs> That's kind of a little bit weird. Not gonna lie. But I'm gonna go ahead and get armor as well. We are probably going to need that. Otherwise, we will probably definitely get obliterated by one of these guys. I honestly have no idea how strong they are. I have not tested it out. So let's go ahead and just put on some of this right here. Here we go. We are in creative right now. But there you go. Let me go ahead and show you guys. We have now got full armor on. Let's go ahead and go into survival. This is probably going to be a bad idea. But here we go. We are now in survival. So these guys should start to attack me. Yeah. As you got... Whoa. That was one hit of a diamond sword and it was down. I did not expect that. Did they drop anything? They didn't. Okay. So they don't seem to drop anything as of now. Maybe they will in a future update. But as of now, they don't really seem to drop anything. Come on. I, I want to attack you. They're just flying away. So it seems like once you attack them, if they don't actually die, they will just run away and fly away from you. So that's kind of cool. And you can see they look awesome. It's like we have like birds flying in the sky, but it's actually a mob, a hostile mob, which is a phantom. And you can see they try to attack you um, quite often. They will sweep down and they will come and get you. But it doesn't seem like they really do much damage, to be honest. It's like half a heart with each hit. So... I'm okay, but to be honest, I am wearing diamond armor, so that's probably why they haven't killed me yet. But you can see, they look awesome. You can definitely see them because of their green glowing eyes, but it's just so cool. But no, they don't drop anything as of now, apart from XP. So hopefully in a future update, they will drop something because that'd be awesome if they could. I'm just going to spawn loads of these because I want to know what it looks like with loads of these in the sky. It sh it's going to look probably kind of weird. Whoa, look at that. It just looks so different to anything that we've had in the game. We've not really got anything in the game that can fly. I mean, we've got parrots. They can kind of fly, but not like these do. It just looks so weird. Now, is there any mountains nearby? There's like kind of a mountain over here. I'm going to go ahead and just fly my way over. And we're going to spawn some of them at a bit of a higher altitude. Oh, one. Over there, there's actually a village. That's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and just spawn a load of these in. We're just going to spawn so many of them. We're going to be overpowered with them. Just look at that. You can't disagree with me. It looks so cool. Why are they, like, putting their heads in the ground? I don't know if that's a feature or if it's a bug. But as you guys can see, they're, like, stuck with their heads in the ground. It's kind of a little bit weird. I don't really know why they're doing that, to be honest with you. To be honest, these kind of remind me of pterodactyls. They look like, well, they don't really look like pterodactyls, but that's what it reminds me of. It's like a pterodactyl. They are kind of cool, and I love their texture. It looks so amazing. It's blue. You can see them very easily if they're in the sky because they're green glowing eyes. It's just absolutely amazing. I love it. It's fantastic. I want to know, do these actually try to attack villagers? I have no clue. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here and just place one of them in. Do they attack villagers? Um, it doesn't look like they do, actually, to be honest with you. That one isn't attacking. Do, are these ones going to attack? Are they going to attack? It doesn't look like they do. Oh, well, it's getting attacked by um, a husk right there. Uh, yeah, we're just going to... I'm just going to walk away. We are in creative, so it's not going to hurt me. But it doesn't look like phantoms, as of now, try to attack villagers. I don't know if they will in the future. But right now, as you guys can see, they're, they're just flying around and it looks so amazing. And as you can see, once it gets to daytime, they will burn. Just like any other hostile mob within the game. Well, most other hostile mobs, should I say. And they just burn and... Nothing really happens, that is it. They don't drop anything right now, like I've already said. Hopefully, in another update, they are going to drop something. Because I'm pretty sure every other mob within the game, once it dies, it drops something. So, it would be a good idea to make the phantom drop something. But I honestly don't really know what it could drop. I honestly can't really think of anything right now. Maybe, like, bones? Or maybe, like, they could bring a new item into the game. Like, some sort of phantom-related thing. I honestly don't really know. 
I actually want to try and find myself some water to see if these guys can actually like survive in water. I'm guessing they probably won't, but I'm still going to try it anyway. But my guesses are, nah, they're probably going to just drown underneath the water. But I was going, oh, wait, can they actually... They actually can swim under the water. I did not expect that. You heard what I said, guys. I said that I thought they was going to drown. But these guys can actually swim in the water. I don't know if that is a bug or if that is meant to be real. But they are actually swimming in the water. Now they kind of look a little bit like stingrays. This is actually very, very cool. I hope they keep that feature because... I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing they're not going to spawn inside the water. They do spawn at high altitudes if you haven't slept for three days. So I'm guessing they're not going to spawn like in the water. But that's pretty cool that they can actually swim in the water. And as you guys can see, they have like a particle effect that comes off them, which I haven't really seen before on any kind of mob. Apart from maybe the Enderman, that kind of has like a particle effect. But you can see it's got like kind of like, a, I don't know, it kind of looks like um. It's backbone right here. It's really weird how it looks, but I love what Mojang have done with it. It's very, very good. But that, guys, is going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like. Go ahead and join the beta if you haven't already. We probably only have a few more updates left until the official release is here. But I honestly don't know when it will be here. We have no confirmation yet of a date when the full release of the aquatic update will be here. But like I said, that is the end of the video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget, stay awesome. See ya. Bye-bye.